Hey yo, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Movie Madness. Yo. I'll be your boy Enigma. And I'll be your boy Kwame. And you know what we do, we're just about to get into this and talk about movie news stuff that's just been going on mm. in the movie world of mm. recent. And we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. jump right in with this. Okay, where we going? Where we going? What's the first? What's the first subject? first thing we're going to tackle in movie madness is uh michael bay and will smith teaming up again reunion time for the new movie fast and loose um so the deal isn't official yet but michael bay Bay supposedly in final talks to join will smith who has attached this new movie fast and loose um you got a synopsis there i think you had the tagline Oh, well, I can well, I can run it. Um, I'll go choose that. Yeah. yeah so know, no, go basically, Fast and Loose follows a man who wakes up in Tijuana with no memories as oh, he yeah, pieces yeah. together his past. He learns he's been living two lives: one as a crime kingpin, and the other as an undercover CIA agent. So, wow. bruv, how do you feel about Michael Bay and Will Smith teaming up once again, yeah. bringing back that bad boys feel, hopefully, to Fast and Loose? I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see what Will's going to do in this role more than anything, actually. It'd be mm. interesting to see, because, I mean, I, I like Will as an actor, but I I don't know. It's like I've got a weird relationship with Will as an actor, because I know mm. everyone like highly rates him and that, and I do highly rate him just not all the time. Yeah. And because I feel like, you know, Will, when it comes to picking roles, his roles are very much... I'm the lead, no one else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Bad Boys yeah. is the only time he's ever taken a side, a side seat next to somebody. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't ever take a side seat next to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, this again, obviously, this is another vehicle of him taking the lead. But the fact that it's with Michael Bay, I haven't seen Michael Bay do anything in a long time. Since mm. Six Underground and Ambulance, Michael yeah. Bay is hands down one of my favorite directors. I don't give a shit what anybody says about him. Mm. He makes entertainment. Yeah. If I know I want to go watch a movie that's going to be friggin' fun, Popcorn. I'm looking for a Michael Bay film. Yeah, yeah, Period. yeah. I don't care what yeah. no one says. I'm all, yeah. Like, you know, bro, we've been fans of his since Bad Boys. Bad Boys and 1, film Bad Boys since then. The Rock, yeah. Armageddon, Transformers Come on. Trilogy, Come on. Keep going. Six Underground, Come on. Ambulance. I personally, yeah. personally, my opinion, he hasn't, made, he hasn't made a shit movie. Him and Bruckheimer is a genius duo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, even, um, even the island, directed. the island that gets this. Bro, I told you, I don't think movie. he's made a it's shit film. Movie. I like that. It's a good movie. Yeah, I like yeah, the island. Yeah. I yeah. know it got, it got this. Yeah, I personally yeah, feel yeah. I got this more because of uh, Ewan McGregor. Probably, probably. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Ewan isn't everyone's favourite. If we're going to be honest with ourselves. But, but I, I like it. I think he's all right. He yeah, does and it's And it's that film that they say Spielberg watched and said, okay, you can do Transformers. So again, obviously it led to a big trilogy or big franchise. Get me. I agree with you, man. I'm happy to see. Well, I'm looking forward to see what Will does with the role. Um, yeah. You know, he can play. It's going to be interesting to see him play the, I guess, evil crime kingy pin type mm. style, or the more undercover CIA agent. You know, we're used to seeing Will as a cop type. Of exactly. Movie. I kind of want to know: is it a comedy? Is it nah, a comedy nah, element? Or is it straight? Nah, it action sounds like thriller. it's a straight action thriller. So straight action thriller. That's why I want to see it. Because mm. I was thinking, okay, if it's comedy, it's just not. I would say it's gonna be corny, but mm. obviously they'll play off the humorous parts of him playing the other role. I yeah. don't want to see that. I mm. want to see the series. I want to see yeah. where it's gonna go. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I know it can't be action and be Michael Bay. Yeah. I mean, sorry, it can't not be action and be Michael Bay. Like, yeah. He, doesn't, he, he has to do action. That's him. Yeah. It's forte. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. makes that shit look good. So yeah. You know what I mean? I like his color correction. I like. I like how he grades films. I like the way that his his films yeah. look. Yeah. I'm a fan of his films. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. I mean, they've only made two films together, but those two films are classics, which is Bad One, Bad Boys One and Two. So their track record is really together. Need, man. Maybe in real, maybe in real. Um, it'll be interesting. Need. New else they cast? I'm sure there'll yeah. be some type of exotic-looking female lead. You know, Smith, so you know, Eva Mendes. I was just about to female. say Eva Mendes. Eva Mendes was still acting. It'd probably be Eva Mendes, but she's yeah. acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally, who yeah. I was gonna reach for as well. Yeah, <laughs> so literally, bro. It's literally, be whoever's that. It might be like yeah. my girl. Is it Natalie Emanuel? And the Armas, bro. That's and the Armas. Sorry, yeah, you know it's gonna be Armas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's already, She's already turned it down. She's already turned it down. In it. <laughs> oh, I did a movie with um, Chris Evans. I don't need to do no more of these movies. Watch, yeah, that's what you're going to do. I do John Wick now. I do John Wick. I do John Wick. That's it. 
Nah, man. Nah, uh, man. They should leave her the waist, leave her by the wayside, man. Shit. Yeah, She's yeah, getting yeah. way too much work. There's too many actresses in Hollywood to to, to, to just give her everything, bruv. Seriously. Mm, 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 Seriously. There's, there's, we, we need some others. There's man. a lot more. And again, yeah. again, it will be interesting to see how Ballerina does at the box office. Um, yeah, it's going to be a real litmus test for her because this is the first time she's really leading a big film. And yeah, it's John Wick, so it's going to be hard to follow. So we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see. And um, yeah, I'm sure we'll be reviewing Ballerina whenever it comes out. So you know, we will. yeah, yeah, you know, you will. You will. But um, okay, I've got to ask, I have to ask mm. a question. Mm-hmm. Do you feel obviously Bad Boys 4 was a humongous hit, big hit, big, big return to the screen mm-hmm. for Will and Martin? But let's just talk mm-hmm. about Will. Yeah, do you feel audiences have forgiven him for the Chris Rock flap? Okay, in your weird. opinion, not, not, I don't, let me hear uh-huh. your opinion, uh, okay. and then let me hear what you think the general public is feeling. Oh, okay, okay, good, good, good perspective. Okay, um, so do I think the public has forgiven him? Mm. Yes. Okay. I no. Okay. okay. This is why it's a tricky one. It's hard to yeah. just yeah, and uh, because I feel like when I read certain things, I guess maybe this is more answering what the public think. Mm-hmm. It's like, there's a battle between just letting him get on with his life and letting <laughs> him do what he's doing. And mm-hmm. people think, okay, he's a livy for that. But mm-hmm. at the same time, ironically, a lot of people don't like Chris Rock that much. So it's always <laughs> like, some people think like, he's a coon anyway, fuck him. He's good, he deserved it. You know what I mean? So it's always mm-hmm. like, who cares? Mm-hmm. If, maybe if he slapped somebody else, they'd still hate him. But yeah. I think because it was Chris Rock, a lot of people almost don't care of it. And yeah. they already loved Will Smith already. So yeah. it's a weird one. So in a weird way, I think yes, they do. And no, they don't. Because it's yeah. weird. Because it's one of them things. It's remember when you pull up the Chris, the Chris Brown thing. The other day, mm-hmm. uh, and it's like, that it's the same thing. The stigma will stay with you forever. So forever. he'll be forgiven. Just whenever yeah. you forgot. Yeah. So you'll always be at least one or two people that will bring yeah. it up. No matter what movie he does from now yeah. on to the end of his career, when he even freaking dies, yeah. someone will still bring up the Chris Rock slap. Yeah. Period. Yeah. It will always be brought yeah. up. On that so Instagram that's I mean, post that sense. says Will Smith has died, someone's going to put a comment, but you slap Oscar Chris slapper Will Smith <laughs> has died. There is, you know someone's going to do it. And it will be 50 years from now, bruv. Yeah. And they will still yeah. say it. Yeah. yeah like true. back in 2020, wherever year it was, <laughs> he was no, the year he won the Oscar was also, yeah. you know what I mean, bruv? They'll yeah. always tie it back to that. Yeah. They'll forget yeah. about all of the shit he done and it'll be yeah. that. It'll be about have that. You, have you personally gone past it? I don't I know how you feel about it. No, I know how you feel about it, but... Genuinely don't give two shits about it. Okay, okay, I, fine. I really... I didn't then, mm. and I don't and now. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it was just like, who cares? It's Hollywood. Holly, I don't... Yeah. Bruv, if you remember what I said back then when it happened... You said like, it was staged. Still, you always yeah, said it was staged. I still don't believe it was real. Said it was staged, I still yeah. don't believe it was real. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if... Will claims he didn't know, or, or Chris Saves claims he didn't know. Somebody knew. I don't believe. I don't believe anything happens in Hollywood by mistake. Yeah, I hear that. everything. Everything is entertainment. I hear yeah, that. I hear period. That. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. That's just me. And yes, I am a conspiracy theorist. Yes, so I stand by that. Most things that happen in Hollywood, if not all things that happen in Hollywood, happen for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. somebody at least believes. Oh, okay, we can capitalize off this. Yeah. 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 Period. So I think. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's interesting because Bad Boys 4 obviously big movie this Fast and Loose I'm not sure if it's actually going to go cloud. I thought it was actually a Netflix movie which is it not? It actually, is. yeah I think it's a Netflix yeah. movie so, yes, yeah. you know Will has had that relationship with Netflix obviously mm. he's done bright Michael Bay done Six Underground for Netflix mm. so it makes sense that they're staying in business together but yeah, I would have been interested to see how this done if it did have to have a theatrical release mm. because Bad Boys mm. it's a safe franchise man if there was one franchise yeah. Will could have gone back to it was Bad Boys so yeah. everyone was always going to be up for that and yeah. it just so happened that it was a really good film as well well, obviously yeah but i'm very interested box office wise to see mm. how he reacts next time he needs an actual big film because yeah i think it's very much divided bro. i think it's very much divided how I do know. you feel about him yeah 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 very I, much I'm, not, I'm not too happy with the way the movie game is going with streaming services doing what they're doing because i don't it's like I feel like, yes, we will always watch these movies when they come on Netflix or Disney Plus or Prime or any of the streaming services. But do you remember the days of a certain level of excitement mm-hmm. when the movie was coming to the cinema? Of course, of course. Movies right. still obviously go to the cinema, yeah. but that excitement is not the same. Yeah, like, yeah. I like to always cast my mind back. Okay, you can cast your mind back 12 years 
when Avengers 1 came out. Mm. That was massive mm. because we were still very much in the cinema era. Mm. And I, I honestly believe, yes, the cinema era was killed by the pandemic. Because yeah. in 2019, going to the cinema to watch Endgame was still a big deal. 2018 was, was 2018? 2018? Yeah. I 2019, 2019 no? was Sp- Spider Man No Way Home was 2019. Oh, okay. um, Endgame was 2018. For oh, I see. I remember. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't even. I thought it was. Okay. I know. Yeah. Yeah. No, no Way Home was um, the beginning of the next phase, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. That's yeah. That is, that is right. Yeah. Then it just, I don't know, the hype completely decimated after it just disappeared yeah. it's like after that i just felt like where's where's the feeling gone i think the whole climax thing was a real thing because now yeah you see that when we went to obviously when we did um obviously june was big bad mm. boys ride or die was big mm. but it's so few and far between now it feels mm, 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 and, mm. you know i feel like and it's ironic that you mm. say that because there's more films releasing now probably than there ever has been by the excitement ever. yeah the yeah. excitement is definitely as well down and i think 100 percent, the pandemic killed it because not only did people get into the mindset one there was people that were shook to go to the cinema anyway just yeah, yeah, yeah 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 two people got into the mindset of i'd rather watch a movie at home and because obviously everything was coming out at home yeah and I think, there's there's even a portion I genuinely think of the world that only see now. I just want to watch it on at home. Uh, that, that, you yep. can pause it, and obviously there's always yep. the benefits of watching things yeah. at home. But I agree that theatrical feel, that excitement, that I'm going to the cinema. You're counting down the weeks for it to yeah. come out. Yeah, yeah. That ended off the end game. End game was yeah. the last film because that you had to go to the cinema first weekend to find out what the fuck happened. You had to find yeah. out. That. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I agree. From then, and then COVID, um, pandemic came. And then, yes, yeah, it's, it's just been yeah. a, a struggle since then. Obviously, we have the odd bright spot. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, now the anomalies that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. come up now and then, but yeah, nowhere near as it much. You no way near. There's been a few, you know what I mean? That like still, you know, still have that exciting. Yeah, mm. I need to see that. You know, I'm mean? even like yeah, Deadpool, Wolverine, like we said, Bad Boys. Mm. You know, June. All of these, you know, these big ones, these big hitters. But mm. like you said, that there is actually more films now than ever, and maybe it is oversaturation. Maybe oversaturation yeah. is the problem. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, again, and but I still feel uh-huh. cinema releases, cinema releases every week, Prime releases mm. every week, Netflix releases every week. There's, you've got to think. Let's add up all the streaming services, and let's mm. just say that it released two things a week. That's 12, 15 releases per week. And every, I'm being conservative. Then. Every, exactly. that's, and that's every week. Every of course it's week. Of yeah. course it's saturation. You throw in yeah. the YouTube, you throw in the streaming error, throw in people watching stuff like us, hopefully. Mm-hmm. Then there's so much for your attention now. Why yeah. do I need to go to the cinema? Yeah. I'd rather watch a seven hour Christ to that stream, a, a two man them talk review, and then go yeah. to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I've got time. I've got time. What? To go to the cinema? So I actually have to go out of my house. No, I don't want to go out of my house. You know what I mean? <laughs> What and then I gotta pay twenty five pound for popcorn? What? When Minimum. I could go buy one pound twenty five popcorn from the shop <laughs> and come and eat at home? Like no, it's like because honestly, when you think about it, that's a lot of people weighing up. Yeah. I'm not paying eighteen pounds for a hot dog. What? Yeah. No. Why? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why am I doing that? <laughs> yeah. I could just go to Sainsbury's and get two hot dogs and bun for like two pound fifty and four pound. That's it. Well, if I can and get, get an eight pack of hot dogs. So eight, yeah, pack, eight for, pack of buns. You know what I mean? Do you know many hot dogs I can have? It's never for eighteen. It's never, gonna be, it's never gonna be eight. No, you know they always do it uneven. So you get eight pack of hot six, dogs, six, six buns, like yeah, just why? Yeah, yeah, so you have yeah. to buy an extra packet. But yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no one's. Or, you, or you, you, you got to draw for the double hot dog, the double hot dog, the double. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to double glizzy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah double like glizzy. <laughs> glizzy, glaze, movie glaze, <laughs> movie uh. glaze. That shit kills me. So yeah. damn funny. But yeah, yeah no, hundred percent. Yeah, look, that's uh, that's uh, <laughs> how we feel about Michael Bay and Will Smith teaming back up again. Yeah. Let us know what you think, man. Drop a line in the comments. Yeah, man. Know how you feel about the reunion, and that's that movie madness that we're going to continue right now. So, carrying on the movie madness, breaking down this madness in this movie world, and to the surprise of no one, is our next story. Um, Blade, the movie Blade has been removed from the MCU release calendar. 
So, if anyone knows, Blade, um, originally announced in 1865, um, has now been pushed back even further. Well, it, was originally, it, 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 was, it was originally announced in July 2019. That's that so July 2019. So, it's was been it? pushed really? back. Yes, July 2019. It's, it's been pushed back you know, multiple, know multiple times, multiple directors, multiple writers, pure chaos. By the, by the time it's ready to film, Mahashala Ali will be literally 67, 69, and I don't know what's going on. Um, love, it's hilarious. How do you feel about Blade once again for the umpteenth time being pushed back? And now it's just been taken off the release calendar. It's not been pushed Listen, back. It's been taken I don't off. give a shit what nobody says. And I'm going to say it because it is what it is and it's 100% racial I don't give a shit me and my brother was talking about this last night yes I'm gonna say it and I know yeah. all, all the other fans of say why are you yes because yeah. there's, a, there's a deep seated hate for black led movies mm-hmm. yeah because they are always box office smashes mm-hmm. and everybody knows that movies like wherever, representation matters mm-hmm. and whenever you have a black lead or black led movies it smashes box offices and makes records mm. yeah they've been hating on blade since friggin 1999 bruv mm. Mm. as far as i'm concerned because mm. at the end of the day and i mean this isn't even a point i'm trying to make but wesley's still gonna play blade now he didn't need martial ali he could have yeah, as, as the reaction he got in deadpool 3 shows yeah, he easily could have played blade easily. yeah easily easily but anyway that's not even a point i wanted to make mm. when you look at the lineup of writers and directors a lot of them are black and it just reminds me of the reminiscent or it's very reminiscent of when black panther was made Mm -hmm. and when black panther came out and when the sequel came out black panther should have come out way earlier than it did Mm -hmm. even the movie was very clear that it was heavily edited because Mm -hmm. of uh in terms of the villain and i'm talking about um what's his name killmonger so no not you uh killmonger the other guy i forgot his name i feel my name are um, no, 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 no. And the circus. Yeah, and the circus guy. What's his name again? What am I forgetting his name? Uh, that yeah, character. Yeah, anyway, like him. Uh, yeah. yeah, I forgot his name. My mind's gone blank. But mm. yeah, like, just when you watch the movie and you see, when you see the running order, and remember, I always remember when it was being made and they talked about how long the running time was. And they said it was like four or five hours. And obviously, it got edited down to a two hour runtime. That was two movies, man. And I'm saying that because the fact that it was one of the only movies that came out in, uh, was it Phase Two? Or phase one, I think it was. During between phase one and phase three, well, that yeah, wasn't well. a trilogy. Yeah. All the others were allowed to be trilogies. Mm. Except for Blade. Blade only got one movie. Uh Black Panther. Oh, you saw that? Sorry, Black Panther, sorry, sorry, Black Panther. Sorry. Mm. Shit, yeah, so I said Blade Net. Black yeah. Panther only got one movie. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And yes, I know um uh Doctor Strange did as well, but the relevance of Black Panther in terms of like the impact it made. Mm-hmm. was very apparent in Civil War mm-hmm. which was obviously the film before the Black Panther film came out mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and the impact that Black Panther had in that film clearly translated into the release of Black Panther itself when it came mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. and when Black Panther came out it was one of the first think about it, Black Panther was the first Marvel film to get nominated for an Oscar for one Yeah, yeah. also broke box office records mm-hmm. all while they keep saying yeah, black leads don't translate in a box mm-hmm. office. They don't really sell. Yeah, yeah. They've been saying that since the 80s when Eddie was smashing box offices around yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like this running lie that they keep saying. The same way when Wesley create, created Blade, that was mm. the beginning of the entire MCU. But mm. like he never got his just dues. Only the fans gave him his just dues. But mm. what I'm saying is Hollywood are always doing what they need to do to hold back anything black. And I'll tell you why, and I'll go back to the whole point of why I'm saying all of this. You tell me when this has ever happened before where they have scrapped the entire project they don't do that this is marvel they don't do that especially a project like blade that is so relevant to the entire universe as well as the the birth of the universe bro just get rid of all the writers and directors and find new ones you don't mm. scrap the whole project the fact mm. that they scrapped the whole project tells me everything i need to know i don't i don't think i don't think they, they haven't scrapped the whole project they've just but removed that is what it they from the bro but that's I'm, what just saying. Saying, I'm just saying no i know I'm you're saying because obviously yeah, yeah. there's going to be certain people that are going to fight for it mm. obviously but mm. bro it shouldn't even be taken off the slate bro it shouldn't mm. how many times have we heard films in the mcu be pushed back or even in the I dcu think, push back yeah i think 
it's clear i mean kevin feige has said previously they were trying to work out a story blah 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 by it what the fuck it's is that about working out a damn story as well well there was room there was rumors that the story actually was centered less around blade but more around the female lead which caused a bit of a backlash from the fans yeah there was so basically that. what they did in blade 3 basically yeah the female lead was going to be the star then that supposedly got changed around it was then supposedly set in the 1920s there's been a lot of rumors about what it's going to actually be but i think it's clear obviously it's not a priority it's not a priority for mcu no if it was yeah if it was they would have been able Mm -hmm. to bang out the script writers Mm -hmm. Um, we're not talking about a Mm -hmm. small independent um production company that's trying to find its way in hollywood Mm -hmm. we're talking about marvel you could pluck the finest writers from any situation from comic book from hollywood from tv get them in a writer's room get them to bang it out they had bo de mayo bo de mayo who wrote x-men 97 Exactly. They had, they, they, there's no excuse. I'm, so, I'm they, sorry. There's they, no excuse. Exactly. There was the basically absolutely really no excuse. So I agree. Um, there's clearly some type of agenda against it. I think. And, sorry to cut on. The reason why I keep always say when I come and say uh, uh, it's it's racial because I like that. I, oh, I notice how people always want to say, oh, why you always go bring race into it? Because when you notice patterns, patterns don't lie. When it's the only thing that stands out that's different from the rest. Mm-hmm. Do you understand mm. what I'm trying to say here? Mm. Because, okay, yeah, I could say it's this reason, it's that, that reason. But, bro, the only running uh, uh, pattern that I'm noticing is it's when it's a black-led movie. Mm-hmm. And mm. MCU doesn't have a lot of black-led movies, bro. Mm. They only have mm. one other. Every yeah. other one is white. So it's yeah. fine. So the one other black-led movie is the one that's got a problem. Well, uh, and just in case people think, you know, we're kind of being conspiracy theorists, just, just to add a bit more sauce to that. Um, the Ironheart TV series, um, Ironheart, the character that was introduced in Black Panther 2, oh, that sweet. was originally pushed back. Um, that had a TV series coming out. Now we don't know when that's coming out. Um, Armor Wars, which was supposed to star Don Cheadle, was supposed to be a TV series. Now it's been turned into a movie that has now been pushed back. Um, Wonder Man, starring Yaya Abdul Mateen, um, that has been in development for a long time. We never know when that's going to be coming out. And, um, but yeah, we're making all this stuff up, though. Yeah, I'm just, it's just again. I just sometimes people we don't just come here and talk. We yeah, we do uh, have facts, and we're just we're come on, just, man. There is that again. People need to take a more awareness of patterns that go on. And yeah. if you see patterns within entertainment, within any situation you're in, then you can just identify it and just call it out. And let's just is. say, yeah. I'm not saying that other Marvel projects haven't been pushed back. I'm just saying, see, but that's what I'm saying. Black led TV yeah. shows, because we're not been, saying that hasn't happened. Yeah, never. It no, has. no, I'm not saying that. Yeah. But all of these movies, every single one I've mentioned, have Don Trudel leads one, Yaya Abdul Mateen, Marsha Al Ali. Mm-hmm. Um, the chick from Iron Heart, I don't know her name, apologies, but they've all been pushed back. We're talking about mm-hmm. quality actors here, so there's no reason. Again, you can have the finest writers in the world. It's Marvel, mm-hmm. it's not anyone else, it's Marvel. Mm-hmm. There is absolutely no excuse for any of these projects nope. to be pushed back. So, I don't know. And, then, and if, if, even if you think of being conspiracy theorists, mm-hmm. let's go to the Chinese aspect of it. Shang-Chi was mm-hmm. a massive hit, Shang-Chi mm-hmm. was critically acclaimed. Shang-Chi, mm-hmm. everyone loved the character. You have not seen Shang-Chi since. Mm. I'm just saying. I'm mm. just saying. Mm. But we're ready to have Doctor Strange 3. We're ready to have 4, 5, or what, 4, um, four that's going to be now. Yeah, um, yeah, ready to yeah. have it. Even fucking Anthony Mackie's Captain America, that was the other one. That yeah, had yeah. development hell when I got pushed back. See? And then, you see? You someone see? had to come in and save the director. The director just so happened to be black. I'm just saying. Also, the Marvels was directed by Nia DaCosta. She just happened to be black. Obviously, it's been one of the most rinsed out films ever. And The Eternals was directed by a Chinese woman. Um, um, Bro, um, Zhao, I think her name is. Patterns don't um, lie. I'm just saying, patterns again. Patterns don't lie. Just want to point all of those. They can out. call it whatever they want. And they can get, because here's the thing. If you sit them down, all of the people that are relevant in making these decisions, they will give you, even if they got called out publicly, I'm mm-hmm. telling you now, they'll come and sit down on CNN News or any other platform, whatever, podcast, whatever, and they will give you all of the best stories to tell mm-hmm. you why it's this reason, it's that reason. It's not what you think it is. No, there was money mm-hmm. problems here. It, bro, it doesn't matter what the reason you give is. The end mm-hmm. result is the only thing that matters. Yeah, and the, and the end result is the project is gone. Of course, yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you say. Yeah, we see yeah. we, 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 don't gaslight the thing don't gaslight the yeah. thing it is what it is and that's the reason why I have an issue with it because it's like yeah. trust me because I've you know we've seen it in interviews before when they say oh they always say it's not a race thing it's because of this and oh bruv 
they're so well media trained they know exactly what to say and what not to say yeah. for it to yeah. not sound like how they don't want it to sound but yeah. when it's all yeah. said and done yes it's a black thing it is what it is yeah. it is what it is yeah, it is what it is well people representation know. matters that's why of course of course of course of course of course um, well people let us know if you agree or disagree with our points let us know how you feel about Blade being pushed back do you agree with us are we wilder now are we doing too much <laughs> Let us know, man. We're happy to back up forth in the comments, man. Put in the and, comments. Um, yeah, that's how we feel about Blade being pushed back. And, you know, that's that movie madness for you. Yeah, man. So, yeah, carrying on that movie madness. Mm. Um, we're going to be talking about some perspective casting news. Nothing in certain, not set in stone as of yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's rumours that Henry Cavill, mm. Henry Cavill himself, has emerged as the number one pick for the new James Bond. Um, he was he was um, behind the person who's now in second place, obviously, Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's gonna be um, seen coming up in a Raven film. Um, third place was supposedly Idris Elba, then Tom Hardy, and then um, Killian Murphy from Peaky Blinders and Oppenheimer. Supposedly those are the people that's in the running. Nothing set in stone as of yet, however, how do you feel, bruv, about Henry Cavill emerging as the number one favourite to be James Bond? Do you think he should be? And, um, yeah, do you think he could pull it off? Um, the all them other choices aren't even that bad, actually. Because that first mm-hmm. I was thinking, Killian Murphy, not really. He's probably my least favourite album. Yes, yeah. Phys- um, physically, yeah. he couldn't pull yeah, it off. Yeah, he's not really that. Tom Hardy, just because he's a good actor, I believe. Yes. Not yeah. so much because he's got the look, but he could yeah. pull it off because he's such a good actor. And I know yeah. he can handle all or basically anything they throw at him to be honest mm-hmm. um aaron taylor johnson he's a wild card to me mm-hmm. um but he's he's a good actor though he's good he's decent and he's and i think they want to go younger if they want yeah to and i think he could have worked because he's not out there so much so him yeah. being james bond the same way daniel craig came on board he mm-hmm. only really done layer cake at that point yeah yeah, you know? yeah so he was quite fresh even though he's a seasoned actor a bit mm-hmm. of an actor for a while it was mm-hmm. almost like he wasn't a big name exactly. and aaron taylor johnson also isn't a massive name he's only yeah. now becoming a bigger name so he and was even, even then he's not even a big name he's not so really, yeah, he's, not, he's yeah, yeah he's, i agree he's still you know simmering underneath mm-hmm. this what well, craven is going to be his first kind of headlining yeah yeah, thing, yeah just yeah. him kind of thing and it just there's no point to my ages don't do it <laughs> like seriously james bond isn't black don't do it create your own james yeah. bond. Like he said, he yeah. said it himself. And I agree with yeah. that point that he made. Because at the end of the day, this whole talk of him being James Bond, if he was going to be James Bond, they shouldn't have been talking about it. They should have just made him James Bond. But him being yeah. James Bond don't even make sense anyway. Like, let I him think be 006 he, I, or 008, not 007. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he should definitely be involved. And yeah, yeah that'd be, yeah, that'd be excellent, actually. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. he was 006, actually, bro, I really like that idea. If he yeah. was like 006, then they Wait, can't be 006 be because what's his name is 006 and he switched hmm. in Goldeneye. Uh, um, 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 what's his name? He's the bad guy. He was it from um, Game of Thrones who got killed? Stark? Original Stark that gets beheaded in um, season oh, one? Sean Bean, sorry. Sean, Sean Bean, Bean yeah. is 006. Yeah. 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 So he, yeah, so he can't be 006. As you know, he could because they could replace him because he's dead. No, so he could be. So he could mm. be 006 or 008. So yes, that would be dope. Mm. If they brought him in as a side character to James Bond, he should have been James Bond. That should be James Bond. Okay. Now, get to the guy we're talking about. Henry yes. Cavill hands down has always been the best choice for James Bond bar mm-hmm. no one yeah since Piers Brosnan and yes I'll <laughs> say that not even yeah. Daniel Craig Piers Brosnan and I know he wasn't, even, he wasn't even around then I know I'm just saying but ever since Newspapers. he did Man From Uncle magazine <laughs> magazines <laughs> tomorrow never dies legendary <laughs> Jonathan Price nah <laughs> seriously bro ever since Man, uh, uh, Man From Uncle yeah, mm. I was like, yeah, he was made for this role. Made for this he was role. made for he was made for um, Superman, but they went and fucked him over on that, innit? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. forget about that. But if he wants to take on another massive franchise, I really hope he gets this because I mean, when I look at him and Superman, it's like he didn't even really get to sink his teeth into Superman. He only really played mm-hmm. Superman twice. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like Man of Steel and um, what do you call Justice. it? Um, Justice League. Justice. Ain't enough. And and, and and Batman versus Superman. Oh yeah, sorry, and Batman versus Superman three times, sorry, three times, yeah. Ain't and, enough. And and the no, end, no, and no, 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 no one no. talks about. <laughs> Not even the rock. <laughs> don't tell anyone. That never oh happened. God, like it didn't happen. It never happened. It never happened. Yeah. Record boy. It did happen. <laughs> so funny. 
So yeah, he's played. Yeah, he's back, he was able to play Superman three times. Personally, I think he should have got more. I know some will say, yeah, that's enough. But no, he had more to offer. He still was very ready to play the role. Still looked yeah, perfect in the role. Everything. Of course. You know, but we know why. Because man wouldn't give Hina to James Gunn. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I said it. Um, <laughs> but in regards um, to James Bond, sorry, go on. No, no, I, was, I agree. Yeah. I think, and I'd be honest yeah. with you, bro. I think, and I've been proven on this now. Like Henry, outside of even the DC films, even do do that well box office wise. Henry like isn't a box office draw, and I think people like need to realize that he's a fan favorite. Mm. However, Henry has never led a film to high heights. Um, I don't think he's been given the opportunity to though. Uh, well, even if I'm just saying, Man from Uncle mm. didn't do that well at the box office. Argyle don't like didn't do that well at the box office. Yes. Um, you can't judge him by that film, bruv. Um, he's not even in that film. The film with Reacher. Not really, anyway. The, the most recent Guy Guy Ritchie film, like The Ministry of Un- Un- Gentlemanly Warfare. Yeah. Warfare. That absolutely bombed. Um, so Henry, outside of bruv, The Witcher, right. outside of The Witcher him, and Superman. Look, bruv, I'm a big Henry Cavill fan. I'm big, big fan. But some people just are not box office drawers outside of what they're known for. No, you're right. But I don't so think, I think that's him. this will be... I, Bruh, mm, Colin Farrell had the same type of run. Remember that time when he was supposed to be the next big star and everything yeah. was putting out was bombing? Everything. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. Colin, what's going on? You're good. Why yeah. is it not yeah. working? Yeah. You're yeah. not yeah. Sam Worthington. You're actually good. And that's all this is Sam Worthington. Because <laughs> I like Sam Worthington. He's done a couple good things. Man on a the ledge, my, fa- my favorite Sam Worthington performance. Personally yeah. better yeah. than yeah. The, the Avatar thing that everyone. I don't, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah. to hear too much about that. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So all mm. I'm saying is, yeah, if they stop fucking Henry Cavill over. I'm telling you now, he could be that guy. They're not letting him be that guy. Hollywood is holding him back. I no, honestly I believe you. that. I really believe that. And I'm I believe... just trying to, I'm, I'm going through his filmography now. I just like, yeah. that's a quick go for it. But yeah, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I, I truly believe, I truly believe, yeah, that James Bond could really Eesh. ignite his career. Don't do it. God. Don't do it. Because I know he's been in a bunch God. of them little quiet thrillers. I know he has. I've seen him. I've seen some of And this. Go on, go on. Let's, go on, let's, go on. Let's, let's just start from Man <laughs> of Steel. You're going to be an arsehole, I know you're going to so be So there's Man of Steel. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Man from Uncle. Yeah. Um, Batman versus Superman. Disappointment. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. Sandcastle. No one knows what that is. I just don't even know what that is, nigga. Big disappointment. Yeah. Mission Impossible Fallout. Start, Brilliant. Just... Brilliant. Mission Impossible exactly. Fallout. Exactly. Exactly. Night Hunter. Nintendo. No one knows what that is. Yeah, no, yeah. No. Anoma Holmes. That Anola Holmes. That um Sherlock Holmes is. Oh yeah. Sister, sister or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Adam. Anoma Holmes too. Anola Holmes too. The Flash. Whatever. Argo, yeah. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly <sighs> Warfare. Okay. And then let's throw in Deadpool and Wolverine. So let let me just say this, yeah. Man of Steel was 2013. Yeah. You telling me he ain't had a hit in 11 years? God. Forget Chris Worthington being the box office disaster. Sam, Sam, Sam. It, 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 no. Sorry, I didn't mean Chris, Chris. I meant Chris Hemsworth. You know, I call him Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Oh, yes. Oh. Freaking hell. No. God. Maybe Henry should be that. But look, no, he's not Henry that. Fan. He's not that. I'm a big Henry fan. No, he's not Henry. that. He's not a franchise killer, bro, because he hasn't had a chance to really head up a franchise. <laughs> they cut his legs from under him just when he gets a chance. And you know what, though? The, 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 the man from Uncle was really like, I think, like a a picture of bad luck because hmm. that could have gone either way I bruv till today I'm still surprised that that film bombed I don't actually understand why it bombed because it was fucking good it deserved I, a sequel I, I, I think it was it was, it was Army Hammer man. it was Army Hammer it was Army Hammer and I think they underestimated they overestimated how much people cared about that IP because no one really knew what the man from Uncle was but yeah, I think they, they were banking yeah, on like old yeah. fans coming out to yeah. check it out and, yeah um, okay yeah, Obviously, yeah. That, that, that didn't happen, and we've never seen anything since. And yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. Look, I'm behind Henry. I've I got want no him faith to come James Bond. Yeah, I've got, I've faith, got faith, in. faith in him. He has the. I agree with you. Everything you said. He has the ability. However, his track record has been pretty horrendous outside of The Witcher. Pretty oh, horrendous. I, I refuse to go by his track record. I want to go by his skill set because I believe he's that good. Because there's certain people that have got some of the worst track records, but their skill sets are amazing. Like, like I said, Colin Farrell is a perfect example, bro. Colin Farrell is a great perfect example, example. But, but, bro, that's 11 years. 11 bro, years bro, about something bro. significant? Colin Farrell was a movie star, yeah? Come from Ireland, doing TV, was mm. a movie star. A bunch of movies flopped after Minority Report, yeah? Yeah, yeah. 
and then man went back to TV because the yeah. Batman was sick, but that yeah. was literally the last film that he did that was actually reputable. Yeah, and yeah, then but now also... the Penguin, so he's gone back to TV, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe Henry needs to continue being on TV. He's got the wish out. <laughs> He's, he's signed up to be in the new Voltron movie. Supposedly he's going to be one of the, the lead of the Voltron movie. Uh, they're doing a live action Voltron movie. There's a uh, Warhammer movie. And you know oh, that, yeah. That, yeah. That, that game Warhammer. Yeah, is, yeah, is, yeah. So supposedly he's going to be leading that. So look, I hope he gets a break. There's rumours also he could be joining the MCU as well. And, uh, and we don't yeah, know what I heard about that. Yeah, a lot of that. that <laughs> Captain Britain maybe. There's many op- 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 yeah. options for him. So bruv don't get me wrong and you know i'm the biggest fan of man of steel so you know i'm not i'm not even a henry cowboy yeah yeah. i just want him to turn this corner and now become the box office star that he deserves to be how about that yes yes yes, yes, he deserves to be a box office star he deserves to be one of the biggest stars in the world and hopefully if he can become james bond join the mcu get a few hits on his belt maybe he'll become that and he still likes to draw for young things which i think is quite hilarious Absolutely, he's a rago beast. Loves to draw for young things. I did not know. Fuck it. I know. Yeah, mate, all his gala young. And there's one infamous um, shot of him, the chick from The Witcher. She's rago like 16, 17. There's like an interview going on. And when I mean the beast game on Henry, you know when he, you you know when he forgot what was going on? And then someone, you know when they zoom in on the beast game? The beast game was a <laughs> next level. Yeah, yeah. Henry, look it up, look it up. Henry Cavill, Witcher Why interviews. Why did he not on the team? Beast and on the I didn't know, I didn't know he was like that. I didn't know the thing's like... young, fam. It's not like, yeah. And his thing itself was young. The thing he's got is young. So, because remember, Henry, Henry's a big man. Henry's a big man. He's like 40 something, man. He's 41 yeah, or something. Yeah, he's a what? big man. He's a big oh, man. How old still. is his thing? Oh, let's just find out. Let's just quickly find out how old is Henry Cavill's girlfriend because maybe I'm wilding, but from what I remember, he likes him young. He likes him young. I hope she's in her face. I hope she's in her face. She's in her face? Let's hope. Let's hope. Oh, no, 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 no. She's 35 years old. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, that's okay. Right. Not as bad, not as bad, not as bad. It's not as bad. It's good news. It's yeah, good news. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 yeah. Fine. I'll give him that, I'll give him that. Still less than young I was going to say, you should have checked the one before her. <laughs> Jesus. Just come out oh, of college. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, cool, cool, man. Yeah, that's but that's how we well, feel about Henry Cavill. Let us know yeah, if man. you think he'd be a good Bond. Let us know if yeah. you've got any other suggestions of what you think should be James Bond. Mm. If we're missing out anyone, if they're missing out anyone, let us know. Drop a line in the comments and let us know how you feel about this possible casting. Yeah. Yeah, so carrying on the movie Madness, now we're going to be talking about the upcoming next installment in the Karate Kid franchise. Karate Kid Legends released his first poster um, and there was some actually footage that was screened to an audience. Um, it's starring Jackie Chan is returning as Mr. Miyagi. and oh, Mr. Um, Han. Mr. Han, sorry. And um, Ralph... Uh, Machio, is it Ralph Machio? Yes, it? yes, yes. Ralph Machio is returning and as um, Mr. Daniel Larusso. Daniel Larusso, Daniel Russo. Um, Cry Russo. Kid, yeah. Legend. So we're gonna have the most recent iteration of Cry Kid and the old iteration, classic iteration of Cry Kid coming back, coming together to teach a mentor in the Cry Kid way. Um, can I just quickly start on this one? Yeah, please. I don't give a fuck about a Cry Kid. How about that? I don't give a fuck. Yeah? Why? Karate Kid 2 was good when they done the kung 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 kung. <laughs> Other than that, I don't give a fuck. I don't watch Cobra Kai. I don't think it looks good. I think it looks terrible. If you're a Cobra Kai fan, fine, that's good for you. I don't like it. Jackie Chan's Cry Kid was good. They should have done a Cry Kid 2 with Jaden Smith. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to see Ralph Macchio. He looks um, like a pussy old. He always looked like a pussy old. I I'm don't want to see him in this yeah, I, I don't give lie. a fuck about this film yeah. and I don't give a rass about why. <laughs> Sorry, just wanted to say that. Okay, I'm going to have to add to that. And I hate to admit, I kind of agree. I didn't want a sequel from the original Cry Kid. I wanted a sequel from the Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan Cry Kid. Thank you. I was cool with Cry Kid, Crane Kid, and mm-hmm. kung, 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 kung. And then <laughs> no one. Mm. Hilary Swank. <laughs> that was the new Cry Kid. That was Cry Kid 4. Cry Kid 3 was still Daniel Sun when he switched sides and became a bad guy. We're technically, oh. it's interesting because the original trilogy, he kind of is the bad guy. Like, a lot of people don't realise. Yeah, that that's, what Kai, you know, that's what Cobra yeah, Kai That's what Cobra Kai does. Because did. Daniel Russo is the bad guy. Yes, he is the bad guy. Yeah. Now, this yeah, one, I'm not going to lie, it doesn't actually make sense. I mean, obviously, mm. we'll see it, but 
the concept of bringing Daniel and Mr. Hunt together, I don't get it. Obviously, because um, um, what's his name? Um, Mr. Miyake, original Mr. Miyake, is actually dead, isn't it? Um, but why not bring back Jaden Smith? Obviously, I guess he can't do it now because he probably can't fight anymore. But he could have trained again and brought him back. Like, that deserved a sequel. This. I, I, this to me is just nos- Hollywood going through nostalgia again in terms yeah, of man. what what properties do we own that we can just bring mm. back because we already own it we don't have to pay Ooh, them Cobra, Cobra Kai is popping it's off it's popular well, we've we... still got Karate Kid, Karate Kid IP and so let's smash yes. them together yeah. and let's make a yeah that's basically what I believe they did because it nobody wanted this no. <laughs> I don't think anybody wanted who this who was asking for yeah. Karate Kid Legends nobody wanted this who was I don't know, nobody wanted even Jackie was when he got the Really, nigga? You know, <laughs> you want another one? Where, where Jaden? With Danielson? Yeah. Where, where J- is Jaden coming? If Jaden's not coming, I'm not coming. <laughs> Say, no, 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 no. We're bringing back Ralph Macchio. Well, who? Rahul? Rahul? Bad, 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 didn't even know. My English not good. In the cold My English not good. <laughs> I'm a bad father. <laughs> <laughs> You're never gonna live that down, bro. No. Bad father. You're a bad, bad. father, Jackie. No, Jackie, you're bad. Go look after your kids. Why are you going to make Karate Kid Legends? Go do- Jack, how's your daughter? How's she doing? You got time for this bullshit. Uh, Jackie is raw. He don't give a shit. <laughs> Jackie got that, kids, that, like, kids all outside. That's yeah, so funny, bro. Us. That's so funny. But like, again, yeah, it's yeah. Hollywood gone. This is the madness yeah, that we're talking is... about. This is why the show is called Movie Madness. Because this type of shit. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, no one was asking no for one Karate Kid Legend. No one asked for no this. No one was asking for this. No I don't one. care. I know they've done a worldwide search for the guy who's going to be the, the actual Karate Kid. I don't care if he's got skills. I don't care if he can act. I don't care if he's a hidden prodigy. I don't care about this damn franchise, man. Seriously. Maybe I was I, I liked Karate Kid when I was young. I liked the crane kick. I had the fucking house toy when you could kick things over and I had Ken, yeah. Daniel. Like, bruv, I used to like Karate Kid back so, then. Bruv, I don't give so, a fuck about that shit now. So are you telling me, yeah, they're going to basically have Daniel's son and Mr. Han as the two senseis that are going to be yes, this kid? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this is a bad idea. Come because on. Bruv, it works in the 80s. In the yes. early nineties, maybe yep. when we don't know no better, so yep. we can believe that lanky ass Ralph Macchio is already yeah. a seventeen year old, and we know this nigga's thirty. Yeah, and <laughs> we can make literally, <laughs> and it's like we can literally, okay, cool. You can teach him a couple kicks and a couple of wax on, wax mm-hmm. off, and we can believe it because you know what I mean. It's like yeah. we can believe it because we can suspend, we can suspend uh, belief for a, yeah. for a hot minute. We're not gonna mm. believe that in twenty twenty five or six, bro. Yeah. We're not. We don't care. We're not no. gonna. It's gonna look lame, and he's older. Yeah, yeah. And I've not watched Cobra Kai because of how bad it looks. I can only imagine how bad he's gonna look on a big screen. I'm sorry. And let's be real. It's fucking Jackie Chan you're with. This is so how do you ask that you're not going to be doing moves together? And Ralph not look... look this is what I'm saying. Terrible. How's Ralph working with Jackie? It's Ralph, like Ralph right. I, I hope Ralph's only thing is sitting down and saying wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Do you have anything else, Daniel? No, that's all no. I've got. Wax on, wax off. Do you want to get up and show me something? If they no, do that, I can't do that. If they make him get up to show man some kicks and shit, Let's like the Jackie. crane kick or something, nah, it's going to make me mad. You know what? Maybe it's a kid's move. Maybe it's a kid's movie. Nah, because... I've, got a, I've got a bad feeling they're going to try and make this not a kid's movie because the kid himself, yeah. he looks about 18, 19. It's not going to be that kiddie. Uh, I reckon just... they're going to try and go... Because see, yeah, Cobra Kai is a bit more of a gritty or whatever take on Karate Kid. Yeah, yeah, I reckon yeah. they're going to go more down that lane. And even Karate Kid with Jackie Chan was a bit more realistic than the previous ones. Again, it was a bit more, yeah. you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Storyline yeah. was better. So I reckon Way they're going to go Way realistic, Way gritty and trying to throw the nostalgia in. Love. But see, this is what annoys me about this is because the the remake was you know the new Karate Kid, uh, the, mm. the, the Jaden the Jade Smith one. Yeah, Smith one. So you already remade it when you swapped out Ralph Macchio for Hilary Swank mm. back in mm. the nineties, and then you remade it again almost twenty years later with Jaden. Mm. Now you're doing it again, like, and obviously I'm not including Cobra Kai because who cares? But mm. nobody nobody asked for this. It's like it there's there was no it's like you know again it just goes back to what I said at the beginning it literally sounds like to me one of those situations of what properties do we own that we can just make money off yeah yeah what's left Karate Kid Cobra Kai still doing well 
Why don't we bring back Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio and bring them together? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's try and develop. Great idea. That's a great idea. No, it's, it's not. not a good idea. It's not. It's not. It's not. Yeah. And this is from someone who, yes, I'm not the biggest Cry Kid fan. Yeah, I understand what nostalgia is for some people. For some people is one of their biggest movies. It wasn't for me. I enjoyed it. I was part. Yeah, of I enjoyed. That's what I say. Same. I enjoyed it. Everyone enjoyed it. I was part I of enjoyed them. Yeah. I yeah. really used to like Cry Kid too for about a year or two. Yeah. So yeah, trust me. I understand there, there may be a nostalgia crowd out there for it, but... They're really poor. <clears throat> I, I've watched them recently, you know, and I'll be honest with you, bruv. Like, okay, the, I think the first one's better than the second one, personally, right? Okay. But, yeah, they're kind of really kind of lame, kind mm. of. Like, I've, I know I've given it props before in the past, but I haven't watched them. Like, one, I'm only talking really about one, one two, and three. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're bad. They, they, they're good for their time they're good for the, the 80s yeah. Yeah. they work yeah. in the 80s they yeah. don't work now they don't yeah. work yeah. now yeah. 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 and you know me I'm a nostalgic guy and yeah. I'm, 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 a, I'm the biggest proponent of no no it's still good it's still like <laughs> nah, nah some nah. things you can just leave some things yeah. don't always have to be touched even that shit watching that again as a mm. grown up is weak as fuck Oh, seriously, I've, I've, I've not, I've not watched it it's, yet. Bruv, if you forget watching the whole film, just watch mm. the end fight scene. It's really bad, really bad, yeah, really, really bad. bad. Really <laughs> bad. <laughs> Everybody switches on the guy, and then yeah. he's losing the whole time. As soon as everyone starts doing this, yeah. including the head villain who's now Bredges again <laughs> with Mr Miyagi, now all of a sudden Daniel can fight. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's really anyway let me leave it alone it's terrible. Hey. terrible it's fucking terrible I don't care on any level it's terrible it's, it's and levels. let's keep this real yeah. if Ralph was whack then yeah, what this the is what love the, is he gonna that's be what now? I'm talking about bro. what is he gonna be now again I don't but know that I was 30 something then <laughs> swear to god he was how old is he now was he 60 80 60 has to be um, has to be the hell, he was bro. a big man. He was a big man. That was a like big man school. playing the seventeen-year-old back then, bro, in eighty something, bro. And like Jackie bro. can get away with it because Jackie is a martial arts legend and exactly. icon and one of the greatest of all time. Of to get all away. time, Ralph is not. <laughs> yeah. Ralph got Cobra Kai and this, and that's <laughs> it. Man, they had nothing, uh, nothing. Yeah, like, yeah. about anyway. So look, I got no faith. Again, no faith, people. If you agree, you disagree. If you're looking forward to this Karate Kid Legends, let us know, man. Drop a line in the comments if you're a big fan. Yeah. If you're a big fan, <laughs> let us know. And we're happy to go back and forth with you, man. But, um, uh, yeah, that cool. has been another episode of Ruby Madness. Madness for you. Yeah. Um, as always, if you could, drop a like and a subscribe. That would yeah. be much, much appreciated. Thank you for the support. Yeah, man. And, um, yeah, I've been your boy, Kwame. Qu- yeah, you're Kwame. You, you, you Kwame now. I'm your boy, Kwame. <laughs> I love it. I'm your boy, Enigma. And I've been your boy, Kwame. And this has been Movie Madness. We out. Peace. Peace.